Investors do not come into a void. Investors come to an area that is already inhabited and they are received by the various host communities for whatever program they've come for. And I think that the, the hallmark of success for any investor is to create a partnership with the people they've found in the area. And uh, a case in point is First Quantum Minerals. They came into our area. They are in one chiefdom, Kapijimpanga chiefdom. But in terms of coverage on their corporate social responsibility, I would say they're almost in every district in the province. They've been to every district in the Northwestern province through their flagship project, Conservation Farming. Back and Sanchi. The company when Rui Aisa Kuno, pantu tayi mwe ne fieta iko nkele fie mai niyo. Ya konka ne kwa fwa bantu. Community mufialo. Kumfu mwishi nji, ishi ya pepi na baka nsanshi. Bonse ba ikarabu ino. Mula ndu wa baka nsanshi. Bari ya afwe cha chine abantu. Taba konke le fia tika ni fie mai ni. Haa. Ba konka no kwa fwa bantu mchalo. Before the mine came, we used to cultivate, uh, making ridges uh, from the, big, uh, the, the first limb up to the last limb of the field. If you have, for example, if you have maybe eight limbers, you cultivate all the eight limbers, uh, uh, maybe using a hoe. But when Kansas Foundation came, they taught us how to do the conservation farming, just maybe getting grass, and other materials, then you put into your, your, your farm. From there, you just make the, uh, the holes, then you plant. So it was very simple. We, we were even able to finish on time. From the time that we started in 2010 to date, we've trained close to 40,000 farmers in conservation farming. And um, the yields are so nice. For this season, 2019-2020 farming season, we are headed for a bumper harvest. They haven't only gone to those communities. They first began by training us, the, the chiefs, the gatekeepers. They taught us what it means to be a farmer and to adopt the conservation farming methods. And I think that uh, it has tremendously improved the yields, such that hunger is by choice. They don't only teach you farming, they teach you management. They also teach you marketing tips. They also teach you engagement and reading of the seasons and so on and so forth. I'm particularly very, very excited about the involvement of the women. The women have been very, very consistent. I, th I think some of the greatest farmers we've had in the region following conservation farming are the women. They've been very consistent. It has helped us a lot because uh, a long time before conservation farming, uh, maybe we, are, we had food, but it was not enough. Uh, in the Lima, sometimes we used to harvest maybe uh, 12, 15 bags. But after conservation farming, we used to, we are, we are harvesting close to 40 bags, 50 kg from one lima. So it has helped us a lot because I'm even able to keep food from January to December. My children are not suffering. They are able to eat from morning, lunch, up to the evening. They are not starving in short. Sende Baba and Tunanguru and Jamu Mutua, Kure Sambrishavantu, but Kukurima, Dabako Seresha, Mule Mule Posama no Kukurima. Bantu my knee, 
Ama bweli mbi akapwa. Ba mai ni bakaya. Nombo obudi mi ishinda la mesha pa nshita shipwa. Nangu bakaya chikulu ba misambilisho kulima. Kaya yako nda file fi atuare lima fimila ala yo. Baka nsanshi batu sambilisho kule lima lukuso pa nshi. Bimbi mwako impafi efilia mwabi alama taba. Mwabi alama taba na federaliza mwabi ika mwabi ya penka. Nangu mwabi efi aniyama taba ale sabuino. Bale misambi, bale tusambilishi ya buino waka nsanshi batu. Mwane evantu babo ukuyamu kumone fi bale lima avantu mwabala bali ya wapoke ya mafederaliza. Pantu bambi bale shitisha kunu moku. Takwa ali ya wako isa mkuba mwona yo. Bati takutu wa apoka federaliza alamu kushitisha kashi talimi na hii. No mbaruno, bapela na wantu na maonda, wale pita mo mbabala, ukuyamu kumona, ufiba leli mba, chila muntu wapo kele federaliza, wamone nebala liyako. Kanshi ba chitabu ino, chia chiri. As field workers, we usually go in the, in the community, and then we, we teach farmers from the best, that is the basics of conservation farming. And then we go on and try to visit each farmer, at least each farmer should be visited, each, each farmer every week. So we, we, we go there, field, they visit their fields, do what they are doing, see what they are doing, and advise accordingly. It was a bit hard because we, we are driving people from an old way of doing things to, to slightly newer things. So uh, farmers have accepted it now because we started with 30. As at now, I'm talking, St. Francis alone, we are dealing with about 773 farmers. So you can see to say farmers are really adopting the, the conservation uh, practice that we are teaching them. So far, we are able to testify to the fact that conservation farming has really helped to improve our youths. Uh, it's cost effective, but at the same time you also save on space. You follow very, very simple regulations. You do it on time, with joy, with minimum wastage. You follow the mulching practices. Once you follow all these, and all those that have been following the the systems that we're being taught, they've done very well. When you look at a field like mine, I'm expecting that uh, by the time we harvest, a lima will give me about 50, an average of about 50 bags by 50 kg. You can't have that from the conventional type of farming. And this is why we're encouraging as many of our people as possible to adopt the conservation farming methods. In these areas of climate change, conservation farming is the way to go. Because even with minimum amount of rain, you'll still be able to get something. With minimum amount of rain, you get something. So, instead of complaining night and day about the negative effects of the climate change, switch the methods. And I think that's what we've done. And we've been taught. And we think that all those that are busy cutting down trees and depleting forests, they're just becoming a danger not only to themselves, but also to our nation. Those that are wise have gone conservation. Kansanshi wants the people around the mine to have enough food and extra to sell so that they can raise money for other activities, school, health, and any other. So during this time, We've seen that farmers have adopted this conservation farming and are using it even with their own personal resources. So this is really encouraging. <laughs>